right, stopping by the LNR Precision. If you're familiar with the LNR Precision, uh, remember me and Jan had one set up with the Alpha or the uh, Alex Loop at a special event station. We had an LNR uh, antenna as well, but I'm here with Ryan. Ryan, how you doing, Ryan? Doing great. Um, give me a couple ideas here. You know, a lot of people talk about the end feds here. LNR Precision. You have a couple of them here. Eric here next to me actually just said he has an end fed. What makes what makes this antenna good? Tell me about this one right here. The, the EF quad or F quad? EF quad. EF quad. Tell me about the EF quad. Okay. Well, what makes our antennas great is number one, no tuning required, no ground radials. So we're all about being portable, stealthy and ease of use, and we want to keep things very simple. And so with the EF Quad, this is our, what we, we specialize a lot in QRP, but this particular model is a rated for 200 watts, and it is four bands, and they're fully resonant across the four bands right out of the box. And so this is a 40 meter, 20 meter, 15 meter, and 10 meter that's, antenna. That's the SWR there, at each yes. band he's playing. Yes. Okay. And so we're all about quality, uh, and for a field day, this is about our best um, antenna that you can find. It yeah, is very I think a lot of guys set this up for field day because it's extremely portable. Yes, very lightweight. Still, this is a lot of wire. This looks like a lot of wire I'm holding in my hand, but really, um, we've got some extras on here. Um, for example, this is for our display. This is the very end of the antenna, and this antenna wire connects with an end insulator. And you can see there's stubs for 10 meters, 15 meters, and 20 meters that are attached at specific lengths. And so just in case that uh, one of these is damaged, we include an optional stub here at the end. So, so you uh, can find tune each band you Absolutely. Okay, cool. Yeah. And everything's fully in the band. This is 65 feet, fully deployed. 65 and, feet? Right. Yes, and you can run this antenna sloper, horizontal, vertical, inverted L, inverted V. Um, one thing you do want to be aware of, if you did run or want to, run, if you did want to run this vertical, is these stubs need to hang freely, and, and so you want to make sure that those don't fall back and radiate against themselves. So you want to uh, ideally run this as a sloper, but if you're doing DX or uh, again for fill day, this is a phenomenal radio. Tell me what it cost is for that. What would someone pay for that? We normally retail this antenna for 125. Online plus shipping. We do have show specials here for all of our trade shows at 120. Right now, Good. trail friendly QRP antenna. I do some. You've seen my QRP videos. I've done some. Uh, Several QRP events. Tell me about this one. What makes this a good QRP antenna? Okay. Well, I'm going to show you two quick antennas, and I'm going to compare these because okay. these two antennas that you're looking at here on this display are the exact same antennas. We just offer these LNR in two different form factors. So this is a 10 meter, 20 meter, and 40 meter QRP antenna. And you can notice on this particular model, this uses 18 gauge black poly stealth wire. Extremely stealthy, uh, very lightweight. Uh, you can put it in your backpack. This was our original 102040 QRP antenna. Uh, every again, everything we have is in fed, and we do sell this in both BNC and SO239 connectors. And you can see this choke separates the 40 meters and the 20 meters when it's fully deployed. Okay. We also offer this in a trail-friendly version. This is the exact same antenna oh, okay, as, as this antenna. It's right. just in a smaller form factor. You can see this matchbox is smaller. We got this as small as humanly possible to fit in inside. Uh, it's got a BNC connector. And this choke, we incorporate a design that has these spokes on the ends of the choke. And because we are using 22 gauge poly stealth wire, it's nimble. You can actually roll it up on the choke and put a little piece of Velcro in. It weighs three and a half ounces. You can three put and it- half ounces. That's key when I was showing the other dipole on my channel that I was showing, you know, lightweight, everybody wants to cram something in a box. Three and a half ounces, that's definitely portable. Absolutely, you put it in your short pocket and you and you go. And for um, L-Craft radios, KX2, KX3, uh, this is the best antenna on the market for that. Again, all about portability. And this I'm a- This one here. Yes. I just want to slide over. Um, this is a very similar uh, style uh, as the 102040, but this particular model, we call it the EF MTR. And the reason we call it MTR is because we offer this as a complimentary antenna for the mountain topper transceivers. Right. And so this does 10 meters, 20 meters, I'm sorry, 20 meters, 30 meters, and 40 meters. And 
real briefly, I'll show you on this choke, you can see it's slightly smaller than the 10, 20, 40 in length, but it has this 30 meter shunt uh, connect. And so the way this antenna works is it is fully resonant on 20 meters and 40 meters with the shunt disconnected. And there is a little cover that uh, you, you place on here. So this right. is how the antenna would operate for 20 and 40 meters. But you, you connect the shunt, then it is fully resonant at 30 meters. Okay. And so it's just a real quick change, and then you can get the 30 meters. Because right. 30 meters is also a very popular band. But it is in trail friendly uh, form. That's what we call 22 gauge small matchbox. It, winds up real nice and neatly on this winder and the spokes on this side of the winder is great for your feed line. Yep. So uh, you have your feed line connected here. Everything is in a nice compact package. That would fit in my go box, man. That looks, that looks good. I, I've talked to several people. In fact, Dan, uh, J, um, KK4GGJ has uh, an MPED and a LNR Precision uh, radio. I'm not sure if he has the mountain topper or what, but he's got one in the they're, they're good, so I appreciate the time you show me these. Well, absolutely. What's the price on this one here? Uh, this is $80, $80 show special. Uh, normally retails for $85 plus shipping and handling from our website. Uh, the trail friendly, the 102040s, is $70 show special with $75. So, Full warranty with these? Absolutely. And um, we, we never see these come back. If you look on EHAM and read anything about it, LNR, Precision Antennas, um, five star rated. Um, we're all about quality. We, we do any service after, after the sale. And the saying in the middle is basically our moniker. They just work. Yeah, they just work. Thanks a lot. I appreciate the time with you. Right, thank you. All right, so at LNR, we're talking to the L of LNR. This is Larry. How are you doing, Larry? Hi, I'm doing fine. Appreciate right, you coming so over. I checked out your NFED antennas. A lot of people are amazed with those. And I have a couple of loop antennas from other companies, but I want you to tell me about yours. Loop antennas are extremely popular. Uh, I've used several of them. I've had great contacts with them. And I'm curious, what makes yours good? Tell me about your loop antennas. Well, first of all, we uh, this is another Dale Parfit design that he's been working on for several years now, and it's uh, finally come to the head that this is a, what we call the finished product. Uh, ours is a little different in that we do some things with uh, not so much portability, but uh, performance. We do things like uh, we use hardline versus some of the flexible. Uh, we have an adjustable uh, current loop, which some of the others don't have, which uh, really affects uh, uh, the performance of it gives us a real good uh, sense of how we control the SWR uh, and the tuning of it. Um, the, it does have a 6 to 1 barrier cap, just like all, most of all the other units have. Uh, we feel like with the, the extra effort that we go into with the, with the hard line and the machining that we do to reduce the amount of uh, loss uh, that we, you know, that is incurred through some of the uh, braided lines and so forth, uh, we feel like we're there at the optimal performance of the loop. Now, with, with this being made out of hardline, okay, um, so you're saying you can take the hardline off and collapse this thing. It's not permanently it, in this right size. Right now, you can bring it. We ship it in a 16 by 16 by 4 inch box. So yes, it'll. Uh, you disconnect the PL 259s, and we can get it down to about a 16 inch diameter. Okay, so, so it, it, at some point it's it's kind of portable. I can it, take it, it is. And take it somewhere if I wanted to. It is, and we're going to be offering a uh, carry bag for it too. Uh, but you I know, see this one's on a tripod. Will you have a tripod with that? Uh, we've looked at the tripods, but there's so many people out there that's already got camera pods and so forth like that. They come up with their own. Pods. Yeah, that's and well, the, 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 the brainstorm. <laughs> the the uh, adapter that we're going to be providing will accommodate the little quick release that uh, they, they mount on cameras. So right. We just feel like we didn't really want to get into the, into the tripod business. So I, I see that when you said the hard line, let's see if I can close up here. That is not LMR 400, that's hard line. That's, that's very much hard line. And that makes it a lot better. Well, um, yeah. Say, it, would you yeah, agree? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, you use a, a braided cable or something like that, and RF doesn't like rough edges, it likes smooth. And that that is another. Op uh, another opportunity to give us to to get the best performance out of the antenna. When you get your loss as low as you possibly can get, and you get the maximum performance. Yeah, 
and uh, it's very easy. This one's got a manual tune. We do have a uh, remote tune uh, loop that we're going to be introducing probably at Dayton. Uh, we got it out now, but I just felt like we'd hold off a month or two. Oh, so you have so you can mount this loop outside and have it oh, remote absolutely. tune inside. Absolutely. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah, this yeah, it'll be totally enclosed. It won't have an exposed motor like some of our competitors. So tell me here, if I wanted to change this, it looks like 10 meters. I would move the uh, to a different SO239. This one covers 60 through 10 meters with a 6 meter option. And yes, right now it's set up for uh, 60 meters and 12 meters. If we want to operate at 60 meters, we've got a capacitor switch over here on the left. 60 meters. And if we want to run 10 and 6 meters, we'll disconnect the PL259, plug it in here, and then the, uh, the switch will be in the up position. And that's it. This is very high Q. This one over here is already set up uh, with a little transceiver. And if you can hear it, it's high Q. It's got a very sharp turning curve, tuning curve now. It's not it, but right now I had this set at 7.030 and I've already brought it up to 7.060 and it didn't affect the tuning at all. Okay. So it's more broadband or something? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, that's okay. And it's not very capacitive sensitive to be. A lot of them are sensitive in that. Or come near anything. It, 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 yeah, absolutely. Now we can muffle it down by shorting it out, but, right. but basically that's tuned and that's it. All right. Well, um, you know, one day I'd like to test out one of these on my A17, or perhaps maybe next time I'll test out this uh, one of these LNR Precisions. I know Jan, I've mentioned before, loves your radios. You know Jan, uh, KK4 GGJ. And, Maybe one day uh, I test, test this out in the water on field day or something. I forget, what, what's the price tag on one of these? What this one is show at? special at three ten, okay. and uh, probably be about seventy dollars more for the one with the remote. But uh, we don't know just yet. And but warranty? Warranty one year. One year warranty. Made in the USA? Absolutely. Made in North Carolina. North Carolina, right? And uh, well, let's go check out the uh, wire antennas over at the other side of LNR. We'll go talk about the MTEDs. Sounds good. Thank you, Eric. Thank you for your time. Okay, bye.